observe this Prince Harry. Due to her feeling of duty, Princess Anne is the ideal example of a spare, according to a royal expert. A royal specialist asserted that Princess Anne is a wonderful example of a spare to an heir because of her sense of responsibility and comprehension of the position. Speaking of the Princess Royal, 72, Robert Hardman, the author of Queen of Our Times. The life of Elizabeth II lauded her for her dedication to the family in the wake of the publication this month of Prince Harry's incendiary book Spare. She is a perfect illustration of how you can still contribute even if you are obviously destined for a supporting role, Robert told the Times. The author also acknowledged that late Prince Philip, Anne's father, gave her strong parental supervision. A good spare, in particular, doesn't pay too much attention to what the press is saying about them or take on too many initiatives, he continued, preferring to concentrate on what they can do effectively and where they can make a difference. Roberts said that Anne had adopted the position as her own because she saw the risks of royalty and recognized the benefits to her own status. Through her work and attitude, the princess has been able to win over royal followers. She gave birth in Clarence House on August 15, 1950, and is the mother of Peter Phillips, the owner of a sports management company, and Zara Tyndall, an Olympic horsewoman who won a silver medal. President Kenneth Conda of Zambia nominated Anne for the Nobel Peace Prize in 1990 for her leadership of the nonprofit Save the Children. She was a talented writer who won the solo title at Berkeley in 1971 and was chosen as the BBC Sports Personality of the Year. As a three-day eventer for the British equestrian team, the athlete also won a spot in the 1976 Olympics in Montreal. The Queen bestowed the senior title of Princess Royal onto Anne in 1987, which is customarily bestowed upon the sovereign's eldest daughter, but is not always the case. In an explosive tell-all memoir published this month, Prince Harry discussed the dangers of constantly feeling inferior to his brother, the Prince of Wales. The Duke of Sussex, 38, claimed in a piece for spare that he grew up knowing that he was available to donate an organ to Prince William, 40, if he ever needed one. He claimed that as a form of shorthand, his parents and grandparents had even referred to him and his brother as the heir and the spare. I was brought into the world in case something happened to Willie, he said. His life's work, according to him, is to provide a source of diversion, entertainment, and, in case of need, a spare part, like a kidney, blood transfusion, or bone marrow. Harry, who is two years younger than Prince William, detailed how he had been conditioned to think of himself as a heir and a spare. He claimed that from a young age, this notion of just existing in the world in case William had some sort of tragedy was abundantly evident to him, and it was frequently reinforced throughout his life. Kate Middleton's transformation into a bold and powerful woman as she finds purpose in her new role. Exclusive Afua Hagen, a royal authority, sheds light on Kate's transformation and explains how she has succeeded, despite the strain of being the Princess of Wales, while continuing to support charitable causes. As indicated by her groundbreaking Five Big Questions survey, her numerous visits with connections to children's wellness and early years development, as well as her meetings with specialists in the field, Kate has been working on the importance of a child's first years for more than 10 years. However, the debut of her most recent initiative, Shaping U.S., emphasized the royal's own change, as well as the new phase of her passion project. As she continues her smooth transition from the Duchess of Cambridge to the Princess of Wales before she becomes the UK's next monarch, Kate displayed confidence, poise, and professionalism throughout this week's activities.